So a few weeks ago, I DJed at Temple in San Francisco. Thank you again to everybody who made it out to the show. And since I can't show the whole night here in one vlog, um, obviously there's going to be copyright free music that we have to use. Um, I decided to just make a vlog out of the weekend, especially since I wouldn't be streaming. Made it to the hotel. Oh yes. Okay, well, here we go. Let's do it. Look at that view. All right, so it's a little bit after three. There was, of course, famous San Francisco Friday traffic getting here from the airport. So I'm gonna go eat a quick lunch before I have to come back here and actually start getting ready for a podcast and then for the show later on. Okay, I'm ready to go do this podcast. And then after the podcast, I'm going to dinner with the promoters, my agent and some friends. So let's see, I might be able to actually record some of the podcast. We'll figure it out once we get there. The elevator is like a club. I don't, I would never do this with my hands in a club though. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's always weird to be in the club in the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, and empty. Whole, like, like crypto thing that's happening right now, I think. Make some memories together. Wow. All right, made it here. Say hello, Josh. Yes, welcome. Thank you, I'm so excited. Yeah. We're doing a sound check and they're setting up the cameras. And my camera just said it was too hot, but to change the quality. So I lowered it from 4K, now it's working again. And Josh just told me about a sound sorceress. Sound sorceress. I, I have no idea what this is, but yeah. we're gonna wait till we start, because yeah, I think this is good content and it, it would be a shame to miss it. So unfortunately, you'll have to wait to hear what a sound sorceress is when you hear the podcast, because my camera overheated while we were recording. All right, just finished the podcast and then we did a quick sound check and now we're going to dinner. Hello, it's me. The audio here wasn't very good because it was a bar, but all I said was that the food was delicious, but it was freezing cold. Oh, and that famous fog, they call it Carl here. All right, we're here, we made it. It's right around the corner, but um, look like my cousin. That was weird. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what, Big Daddy Quad? I'm a walking milk for her. Yes.
weather. And there's humans. There's actual humans. Ah, yes. Let's go. My camera battery was dead at lunch, so I couldn't film it, but we did go to the Japanese tea garden afterwards, and it was a perfect day. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why these are making me laugh so much. Do they? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Save Our Pagoda it was built as a temporary indoor display for the Panama Pacific International Expo of 1915, over 100 years ago. You can help. Here you go, you guys. Help out right here. Or go to saveourpagoda.com. Thank you. It's a peace lantern. It weighs 9,000 pounds, and it was donated by Japanese school children uh, as a peace offering. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I love these. Look how beautiful. So peaceful. Another photo shoot. Prom? I have no idea. Tea house. And at the end of the tour of the beautiful garden, you must get a bunch of tea. the best. Perfect. Super nice inside. There were so many people taking photos for a prom, I think, actually. So. It was really busy. I've never seen it this busy, but it was still nice. after uh, being in a pandemic, you know? It's nice. Maybe that first time, that included some of you guys who last time you were here was for Beach Blanket Babylon? Okay, I see you. There, where I can see the view, that takes my breath away. Speak up! 
So it wasn't a circus at all, but that's what I was told when I was invited. Anyways, it was a great show. I highly recommend seeing Dear San Francisco. It was more experimental theater meets acrobatic arts. It was beautiful. On Sunday, we walked around and we went to Alamo Square Park. And then from there, we went to Japantown. Sushi? What do you mean, why am I sushi? Okay, I'm getting one of these. Oh, I see. It is a diamond tear. With key ring. Collect them all. Cafe du Miao. What is this? Mushroom? <gasps> it's a mushroom. One collectible figurine. Eh, I want the cat one. <gasps> cat with a burger. They have a whole section on humorous cat bo books. Humorous cat books. So I had to get, this is terrible lighting guys, but I had to get yuzu ice cream. They have, they also have matcha. So I got this because I've had the matcha before. And then I also got a matcha latte. And that's it. Leaving San Francisco, going to the airport and headed back home to LA. I hope you liked it and don't forget to let me know in the comments below what other original content you'd like to see me do. This is still new for me because I'm used to streaming live and having a real time interaction with chat. So that's also a little bit different and something that I have to get used to and get better at actually speaking to the camera uh, without relying on that interaction with chat. Another thing I need to remember to do in the future is to always bring a backup battery for my camera. Backup battery, backup, I say that 10 times fast. Anyways. And that's because on Saturday I went to dim sum and I was going to vlog that, but my battery was dead because I forgot to charge it after the club. Um, I did have my streaming phone with me, which is a pretty good backup camera, but it was at my hotel. So I did use that while I charged my battery in the afternoon um, to take it to the Japanese tea garden. So there's still things that I'm uh, learning to perfect, but all in all, super fun. And once again, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. You know, you know, you know, you know.